Country music group Old Dominion is dominating the country music genre. While the band has been around for nearly two decades, they are still raking in the recognition. ABC's Melissa Don met up with the guys on their No Bad Vibes tour to give us a little trip down memory lane in tonight's Prime Playlist. Just like the song goes. Country music fans are making it sweet for Old Dominion. And after years of friendship and making music together, the squad made up of lead vocalist Matthew Ramsey, multi-instrumentalist Trevor Rosen, guitarist Brad Terzi, bassist Jeff Sprung, and drummer Whit Sellers are walking along memory lane. We caught up with the guys before they filled the UBS arena in Queens, New York for their popular No Bad Vibes tour. So it's all good vibes here. Oh yeah, oh. for sure. We're just more grateful and excited than we've ever been to, to show what we do to the world. The good energy, a key ingredient for this five member country band who first broke onto the scene in 2014. By 2015, their first full-length album, Meat and Candy, had their first Billboard 100 hit, Break Up With Him. Then, Happy Endings, featuring single, No Such Thing as a Broken Heart. You gotta love, like there's no such thing as a broken heart. And in 2021, their self-titled album, Old Dominion, featuring fan favorites like Never Be Sorry. And One Man Band. That same year, the band received their first Grammy nomination and their fourth studio album, Time, Tequila, and Therapy, dropped featuring hit song, No Hard Feelings. Yeah, there was no hard feelings. Country music fans are some of the most loyal fans that you'll come across, and they do sort of, they love the genre of it. Fast forward to 2023 with the release of Memory Lane, and in November, the band took home CMA's Vocal Group of the Year for the sixth time, the Academy of Country Music naming them Group of the Year. The recognition coming from about two decades of work. It takes a long time to really find your voice as an artist, so. We put in, uh, you know, most of our time songwriting at first, but then the band sort of took off. We broke out. <laughs> yeah, I moved to Nashville in 2002, I think, to, to kind of make a run for it. But even before that was writing songs in Virginia and, you know, since I was, I guess, 13 or 14. At the heart of Old Dominion's success, their songwriting. What started off as a group of friends with a knack for songwriting growing into a country music band. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we would be here at this level if we weren't friends. I think the amount of time we had leading up to success, we, you know, there, there wasn't money, there wasn't uh, big crowds, but we were having such a good time with each other. We were, the shared experience was what made it valuable. So I think that's why we're here. I think we hit a point in time where we just started writing songs that we loved. You know, we weren't trying to write your favorite song, we were trying to write our favorite song. And I think when we started to do that, then other people started to record them, and then people started to take notice of the band. So who was trying to break up with who then? <laughs> <laughs> then I really want to know, because that is a hit. So tell them that it's over, they bring it on over. We were traveling around the country in a van, like a 15 passenger van that was falling apart, you know, just playing wherever we could. Wow. In the middle of America. On the way to the next gig, it was in the middle of the night. Uh, I was thinking about it, and it was really no personal experience whatsoever. We were just, I was just really trying to make Trevor laugh. And, you know, I, I started, I had this idea, I had this idea for like a one sided phone conversation um, song. And 
We but picture trying. this from my point of view. I'm, sl- yeah. I'm laying down on the back bench and I see a head pop up over the bench and he's like, are you up? <laughs> and we were just laughing in the back, like making each other laugh, telling this whole story. And it wound up being the song that brought us to the dance. I think every time we write a song, to me, uh, it's a surprise. It's a you mini know? miracle. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, how, how did we just do that again? You know, I think we, we're always on. You know, the, the switch is never off. Old Dominion released their fifth studio album, Memory Lane. The band taking a note from the title, and now they're reflecting. It almost seems really fitting because it sounds like that's like the point of time of, of life that Old Dominion is at. Yeah, it is. This is this interesting point where we're looking back, like, you know, talking with you about the journey and the, the appreciation of the journey and, and all of the joy and hardship that comes with it. But we also feel like we're on the cusp of something. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's really funny to look back and go, wow, we've done a lot of stuff, but it feels like it's just about to happen. And I think yeah. the combination of that just feels like really allows us to just be living in the moment. We've always had to sort of remind ourselves that we've been on this slow, steady climb all along and that one day we're gonna be able to turn around and look and go, wow, we have this body of work and this amazing fan base. And that's the point that we have. I feel like we are just reaching now with this new album. Now we, we can kind of look back and go, I knew we were gonna be here. Motivated by their fans and stories, they are also influenced by their personal lives, like being fathers. There's a lot of kids in this in this band, you know, we're fathers. And so we now have a responsibility to show our kids, you know, what a dream can do and what hard work can do and, you know, all of those. The cool dad band. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a little ring to yeah. it. You asked them, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Giving back is also just as important. Matthew and his wife creating the Ramsey Foundation in Western Virginia, giving resources to rural communities, and also helping encourage music for youth. I always felt like we were last. You know, I always felt like we discovered music last and we heard about art last, and um, I just wanted to know why that was. So if there's one kid that it gets to a little bit faster, job done. That's fantastic. Just by doing our jobs, we are helping people, you know, and it's our goal. Like when Brad was describing the crowd leaving the show, uh, being happy, that's our goal is to we come into a town and we want people to leave feeling lighter than they felt when they came into the show. Mission accomplished. Lots of smiles in that crowd. Our thanks to Old Dominion and Melissa Don for that conversation. If you want to hear more from your favorite artists, from Lady A to Steve Aoki to Ray, head over to Hulu for more. Just search for The Playlist. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.